Welcome to 3D Back Muscles, a production of Three Treasures Studio. For more information, visit www.3treasurestudio.com. The muscles of the back play a significant role in stabilizing skeletal structures of the back, like the spinal column and the scapula, and also help produce the wide range of motion available to the torso. The muscles of the deep back especially combine protection of the spine with the movement of the torso. The movements of the torso include rotation by turning from left to right. Spinal flexion is a forward bending of the torso. In a coordinated effort, the torso can combine these two in spinal flexion and rotation. Combining flexion and rotation can place the spine in a compromised state and many injuries occur during a combination of rotation and flexion while lifting heavy objects. Spinal extension is a backbending of the spine. The range of motion during backbending is greatly inhibited by the spinous processes of the vertebrae. Another possibility for torso movement is the combination of spinal flexion and rotation, which can, under strain or heavy weight, also place the spine in a compromising posture which can lead to injury. Lateral flexion is a side bending of the torso. Side bending is primarily limited by the transverse processes of the vertebrae and by the deep muscles of the intertransversarius that attach to these processes. The neck is also capable of a surprisingly large range of motion. The neck can rotate. Rotation occurs when we look from left to right. Cervical flexion is a forward bending of the neck. Cervical extension is a back bending of the neck. Along with side bending, the full range of motion of the neck is considerable. Another range of motion to consider when discussing the trapezius and latissima dorsi is the movement of the shoulders and arms. As the arms rise, these two large muscles lengthen. The trapezius stabilizes the scapula, while the latissima dorsi will aid in pulling the arms down from the raised position.